Hey guys, it's Anne. I'm going to take a look in on my worm chow only bin. Now this isn't a super interesting bin because I'm not feeding it lots of crazy food. They're just getting my homemade worm chow. My homemade worm chow is made out of one-third oatmeal, uh, regular wheat flour, and cornmeal. And then, you know, probably another handful of more of, like, grit any sort of eggshell that's been ground up. And that's what these guys have been eating almost exclusively. Um, or it is, you know, they've been eating their bedding, but that food is all they've been getting um, in this bin. And, you know, part of my wondering is, you know, can I get the worms to be a little bit bigger? You know, do, do they behave differently when they're eating worm chow? Do they breed differently? So I know a lot of people who breed worms for a living don't feed them kitchen scraps. They just feed them worm chow. So I've been kind of doing my side experiment here, you know, to see if this is something I could do um, separately, uh, if that helps the worms get bigger. Now this is a mix of the red wigglers, the Indian blue worms, and the European night crawlers. And it, it sort of seems to me that they're, they're a little bigger than my usual uh, worm bins, but I'm not going to say that for 100% sure. I mean, they're still reasonably small worms. That's a European night crawler. But, see, it does have a clitellum, so it's definitely not very big. But I'm going to get them a little bit of moisture. This seems kind of dry. I don't have my usual spray bottle anymore. It died on me and it's really not the right time of year to be trying to buy another one. So I'm just going to try and just be super careful, make sure it's incorporated in really well. This time of year I, I'm not really going to be in danger of getting the bins to be too wet simply because the furnace is in the basement here with the worms. And I have more problems with them being dry than wet in the winter. So these guys are, look like they're doing pretty good. Bedding looks pretty good in here. I don't think I need to add any more. Maybe just a little bit more water. If this was spring, summer, or fall, I would not be adding that much water. But honestly, you know, it is, it is a real problem down here in the basement to keep any moisture going with the furnace. So I don't feel, I'm not too worried about it. But these worms are doing good. Give them a little bit of a feeding here. Probably wouldn't have disturbed them quite that much if they would not have been dry. And I'm just going to give them like one handful, maybe in a bit. I do incorporate mine in. It seems like if I don't at least incorporate it a little bit into the, the top layer here that it molds and I suppose that's okay, but um, to me it seems like that would kind of draw fungus gnats, the mold. I don't know. It's just my thing. This is what I do. Uh, put the comments below what you do with your worm chow. But you can tell they're making good castings just out of worm chow and, you know, the bedding. So it doesn't seem to be impeding them making any sort of nice castings. If you like this experiment, I do have more videos that I can link up top. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody. Have a good day.